Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to deal with a numerical based on time invariant or time variant systems. So the question will come like determine whether the following system is time invariant or not, right? And the system equation is given as y of n is equal to x square of n minus 2. Fine. So this is the system is equation. Now as we know that y of n is what? This is equal to what? Transform of x of n, right? So basically y of n is given equal to this and from here we got like y of n is what? Transform of x of n. So this is equal to what? x square of n minus 2. So x of n minus 2 ka whole square to the whole square, right? So hope this much is clear to you. Fine. Now we have to check whether this system is time invariant or not. So for that you have to calculate the output due to input delayed by m units. What do you mean by this? Means you have to calculate y of n minus sorry n comma m okay y of n comma m it means what transform of x of n minus m okay so basically this is what input delayed by m units right so this will become this is basically nothing but y of n when x of n is equal to what x of n minus m right so instead of x of n you have to place x of n minus m is it clear so this will become what x square n minus m minus 2 okay so this is what y n comma m means the output due to input delayed by m units we have calculated this successfully clear fine now let's move further and calculate some more things clear fine now we have to calculate the output delayed by m units means we have to calculate y of n minus m which is nothing but equal to what y of n when n is equal to n minus m. So wherever n is present just replace with n minus m. So in this equation right it will become what? square instead of n you have to use n minus m and minus 2 right as it is so from here you have calculated what the output delayed by m units also so we got to know like okay boss this two are what equal it means we got to know that y of n comma m is equal to what y of n minus m right it means it means what the output due to input delayed by m units is equal to what the output delayed by m units so we can say like system is what time time invariant system time in variant system hope it is clear to you now any doubt in this example if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section okay fine so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you